This screencast is showing you the basics of chat within Google Docs. Now, in order to chat, more than one person has to be looking at the document at any given time. So you cannot chat out into the wilderness by yourself. You have to have someone there to chat with, which I think makes sense. And when you are logged into the document and there's someone else also logged into the document, you'll see that you'll have D McDowell is viewing here, or it could be because I'm in my Dan McDowell at gmail.com account right here, or it could be D McDowell and 20 others are viewing. So it just depends upon how many people are viewing at that time. They will all show up there. Now in order to access the chat, we simply just click on that, and now a chat window shows up. It tells me who else is in the room. Okay, so uh, D McDowell is there as well as, like I said, Dan McDowell. I can go talk to myself. Hello there. Hit return. I can switch over to here. And look, at it's even though my chat window is, isn't there, it's telling me that the other account has said something. So now I can go in there and I can go, hey, how are you doing? Hit return, it shows up, I can go back, and there it is, how are you doing? We can go back and I can have a conversation with myself, but I'll save that for later. So that is using the chat window. Um, you want to always have it set so uh, students are logged in, otherwise it becomes an anonymous chat, and you don't want to probably have an anonymous chat. Uh, this way their names are all attached onto it, and that history of the chat will stay there with, with the document, so you can go back and look at the history of the chat at a later time. So this is a great way for students to collaborate while they're working on the same document at the same time but are not sitting in the same room, which is one of the beauties of Google Docs to begin with. So I uh, hope this helps. Good luck.